Hi, this is Pat Kerman for the Real Football Network, and it's time to break down some of the things that the Oakland Raiders are doing. Everyone aware of what's going on with the Oakland Raiders? They got two games now. This week against the Jets, next week against Pittsburgh. They win those two games, and they are in the driver's seat for a wild card. That's how fast they're getting this thing turned around in Oakland, and the fans have been starving for this, and I'm excited to talk about it. Now, here's one of their base plays, and it's a real staple of what they do, and so far, I don't see answers for stopping it. We're going to break down Amari Cooper's quick screen package. It has a couple of elements in it that give that quarterback, Derek Carr, a chance to do other things if he wants to, but first, the the big play, the, the Amari Cooper's quick screen. All right, I'm going to the diagram now. So one of the things I want to talk about is they set up in a three-by-one set, all right? And the three-by-one set, they're going to have three receivers to this side, one receiver to this side. Here's Amari Cooper, number 89. The first thing they're going to do on the snap of the ball is you got to look internally first. They're going to pull the left guard, and they're going to run the back opposite for the middle linebacker and those two tackles, they see a power G scheme and they're going to work this way into and away from the triple receiver side. The Mike backer is going to vacate because he thinks he's got this power read and this back. So that's the influence inside, which is a brilliant part of the play. Later, they can hand that ball to him. That's why the Mike backer has to honor it. They also have on the back side a one receiver package if they want to go singled up here because the free safety is over the middle one on one. All right, now, the play. Let's get the ball in the hands of our best football player, Amari Cooper. On the snap of the ball, he's going to step straight back. As he steps back, wide receiver number 10 and tight end number 81, which is Michael Rivera, they're going to block out. 10's job is to take the corner right now so the corner does not come flying up and tackle 89. Cooper right in the backfield for a minus two. That's a big critical job. 81 was really thinking of taking the nickel, but the strong safety saw the step back and he flew across. 81's rule, never pass an opposite team's color. So he lands up with the strong safety. That's not a problem because what they do inside is absolutely brilliant. This is Donald Penn, the left tackle. He's going to chip a little shot on the outside linebacker, but that outside linebacker, he sees the back. So he thinks he's got to honor and squeeze down on a power run play. No problem. It's minor chip block and old Donald Penn from Tampa Bay Bucks. Now it is a Raiders comes out. He thought he would take the strong safety, but because that happened earlier and 81 took him, he goes straight through to the nickel backer. While this is going on, the center, Rodney Hudson, who they basically stole from the Kansas City Chiefs, he's going to chip on this tackle, but that tackle's reading this pulling guard. So he's wanting to work down here. Rodney knows he's taking himself out of the play, so he barely touches him, and he gets up field. What an athlete, and he takes the free safety. While all this is going on, Cooper catches the ball. He's got a three-man wall outside. He's got an inside seal, and he gets right up the alley. Vince Lombardi would be proud of this play, right? A seal and an alley. Old school football, but done in a wide receiver screen. Later on, because there's a sequence of plays here, they can hand the ball right here. If that Mike Backer thinks it's a Cooper screen and works this way, the quarterback can easily hand the ball off. He's reading that Mike Backer, hand it off, and we got a run play going here. If they tilt the free safety on top because they don't think they have enough players, he's got a one-on-one -on, -one on the backside. It's a beautiful concept. It's with a great player, and it's a, something that the Jets and the Steelers are going to have to deal with in the next two weeks. This is Pat Kerwin for the Real Football Network.